Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Valentine's Day look for you guys. I think this is the fourth Valentine's look I have on my channel. So if you haven't checked out my other three, make sure you go and watch them. Today's look, I actually had wanted it to be a romantic kind of rose gold look, but that wasn't the case. So it's more of a dusty rose romantic look. I think this is a perfect look for the daytime. It's really really pretty and really girly. So if that is your style and you want to look like that for Valentine's Day, feel free to recreate this. I am like in love with nude lids now, like nude eyelids. I don't know what's my problem but yeah. So I basically did a nude lid and some glitter liner with just a transition color and then you guys will see the rest of my face routine. I have at least two more Valentine's look for you guys coming up, so stay tuned for those, and that after that, that will complete my Valentine's series. So I hope you guys like it so far. Tell me down below in the comments which look you like so far, and don't forget to like, thumbs up this video, and if you aren't subscribed to me, make sure you subscribe. I upload videos every week so you don't want to miss that let me know what else you guys want to see on my channel i want more interaction from my followers i love my rosebuds and i just i want my channel to grow so guys help me grow i know you're out there i know you're watching so when i glow up y'all gonna glow up okay <laughs> anyway let's get on with the look hi everyone so i'm going to be doing a voiceover for today's video and to be honest with you at first i really didn't like this look and it's not that it wasn't pretty i just had a whole bunch of trouble filming for some reason that day i don't know what was going on but i was just having a lot of problems but after i looked back at the footage i was like oh this still is a really pretty look so i'm going to put it out for you guys anyway so here you go i just refreshed my face a little bit with a facial spray and then i jumped into doing my eyebrows with the ruby kisses go brow pencil and i've actually started liking this product again but i wanted my eyebrows to be a little bit darker so i used this brow pomade from ColourPop in black and brown to just deepen them a little bit and i had actually wanted to do this for my anti-valentine's day look but i forgot to use the brow pomade so go figure i'm going to use it in this video so my eyebrows came out really nice as you can see i'm really feeling my eyebrows right now but then we're going to go over and we're going to use our urban decay eyeshadow primer potion on our eyelids i like using an eyeshadow primer before i use a base whether that base be a white base or concealer today we're using concealer as my eye base and i'm using the ruby kisses concealer and i'm just going to blend that out using my concealer brush i'm also going to drag that up towards my brow bone while blending it out just to sharpen my eyebrows just a little bit then I'm going to set that using my Maybelline Fit Me powder in 355 coconut you don't have to go ahead and set your eyelids with powder if you don't want to because we're going to be using a nude eyeshadow in this look anyway using my modern renaissance palette i'm going to be taking this dusty rose pink shadow and i'm going to use that as my transition color today and i'm just going to blend it back and forth using windshield wiper motions and just building up the color slowly until i get the desired color i want using the carly bybel palette i'm going to take this rose pink shade and i'm going to go right under that and give it a little bit more of a pink color or like a deeper pink color in my crease but it still wasn't deep enough for me so i went back and used this burgundy pink shade and put that right on top of it and that gave it more of the desired look i wanted and now it's like a really pretty deep rose pink color now i'm just going to be blending that out using a clean fluffy brush and then using a detail brush with some of my Ruby Kisses concealer on it, I'm going to start carving out my lid or my crease actually because we're not going to be putting any concealer on our lids. I'm just going to be carving out my crease just so it can be more detailed. And then I'm going to be using Raw Sienna from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and placing that 
all over my lid and that's the nude shade I was talking about earlier. Using the Revlon Photo IR and this is in Topaz Twinkle. We're going to make our glitter liner using this and I'm going to first use the chrome side and that was my first time actually using the chrome side. And I'm just going to take an angled brush and create a wing liner using that side. And then we're going to go into the glitter side and I'm going to take the same brush and build up the glitter pigment onto that liner. Next, I'm taking the Broadway Lashes in 118, and I've been obsessed with them lately. Onto the face, I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild Primer, and it's only my second time using it, but I actually kind of like it. I think it's a pretty good drugstore primer. I'm just going to be putting that all over my face, and then I'm going to correct all of my hyperpigmentation using this NYX Concealer in Coco, which I actually got from Chelsea because it was too dark for her, and it's a little warm for me as well. I think it would be better my shade in the summer, but that's why I'm using it to correct. I wanted a romantic glowy look for my foundation so I'm mixing my CoverGirl foundation with this liquid bronzer from Hard Candy and I'm just going to be using my beauty blender to pat that on into my face and it gives me a nice glowy romantic dewy look. And then I'm going to be using my Ruby Kisses concealer to highlight my face in all the areas that I usually highlight. After I finish blending that out. I'm going to do something different to set my face today. I'm not going to be using any baking powder. I'm actually just going to use my face powder and I'm just going to press that into my skin. Again, that's the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 355 Coconut. And I actually like doing this. My face didn't end up so powdery because you guys know that I have dry skin. For contour today, I'm using the Makeup Shella Palette from Tarte and I'm just using my e.l.f. contour brush to just blend that into my face. And as you guys can see, I have a natural contour on my cheeks, so I usually just follow that line when I do my contouring. For under my eyes, I'm using the same Dusty Rose shade from the ABH palette, and then going over that with that rose shade and the burgundy shade that we used from the Carly Bybel palette, and now I'm just blending the two together. I'm using my Get Paid liner from ColourPop in my waterline. That's one of my favorite liners to use. And then the Better Than Sex mascara on my lashes. For blush, I'm taking the e.l.f. blush kit in dark. And I'm just taking that pink shade from the kit and using that on the apples of my cheek. Then from the Carly Bybel palette, I'm going to take this bronze highlighter shade and I'm just going to stipple that on my face. In all the places that I would usually put highlighter and look at the glow it gives me. It's so pretty. This is so romantic. For lips, I'm taking this Milani lipstick in Rose Femme and I actually had lined my lips beforehand with the Jordana Coco Loco lip liner. I think that clip just got cut out. And then afterwards, I'm using this Black Radiance lip gloss, which I don't know the name of. I think it has a number, but it'll be down in the description box. And that is the look, guys. So I hope you guys enjoy this fourth look in my Valentine's Day series and I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below stating which look has been your favorite so far and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye!